I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is February 21st, 2016, and I'm going to go over a cool little figure, a feature in Sigwin called SigStart. I'm also going to kind of change it to an open command. So that's what I'm going to go over here in this video. Okay, what is SigStart? SigStart, uh, if you're familiar with the Apple OS X environment, it's very much like open. In Apple, you can do, from the command line, you can say open this folder, and this folder will pop open, or open google.com and google.com will open in a web browser or open certain files or programs and they'll just pop open which is really convenient now in sigwin it's actually called six start so i can do six start dot and open this folder and it should pop open and i use that a lot it's really convenient or i can do uh, six start uh, open google.com and it should open a web browser at google.com Nice. But I'm used to the open command. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a symlink uh, to an open command. So I'll do user bin sig start and user bin open. And that should create an open command for me. So now if I go open this folder, good. Now this should work really similarly to, you know, the command should almost be exactly what you would use in on a Mac. So I can say uh, open whiteboard coder.com and it should open up. But the thing is if I do, it's not smart enough to decipher everything, so if I just do that, it can't open up without the www. Let me kill this before it starts loading too many resources. Okay, so it's kind of nice. Other things you can do is I can come in here and say open a text file. And then based on how you set up your system, it'll open that text file in your preferred um, application. So mine happens to open up in Notepad. Boom, opens it in Notepad. That's kind of nice. Uh, other things we can do, let's see, I should be able to open a, I have a PNG in here. And that should open in a web browser, in my case. Uh, I could open a video here, but sometimes when I open up videos, it kind of kills my recording right now. So, or it did earlier. So I'm not going to, but I could open this mp4 and it would open and start playing but i'm just not going to do it right now um let's see what are the cool things it can do uh you can open up excel i found out i didn't know this until today i mean it makes sense that it can do it it's never bothered to but i could open excel it just pops it open uh i tried to open word but word is actually not the word for windows for the word document so you actually have to do win word then it will open just fine. Uh, let's see what else it'll do. Well, it open it over here. Well, also, if you have files in here, so like I have a um, XLS file in here. So I've opened test.xls. Of course, it should open up in, um, it should open in Excel. And there you go. So that opened up just fine in Excel. Now, one thing, it doesn't have actually all the paths to all my applications. So I was curious about this because I wanted to open up uh, IntelliJ. And so IntelliJ happens to be IDEA or IDEA64 in my case. And if I try to open that, it can't find it. So I figured out what you can do is it just needs to actually be on the path. So one way around that, the way I decided to do it is I can go edit my uh, bash profile and I can append uh, to the path. And so here's what I've done here on the bottom. So I've taken the path and I've actually appended the folder where IntelliJ is. You got to make sure that you put the slashes right in front of spaces because, you know, Linux can't handle spaces and the slashes in front of uh, parens. Uh, but once you get all that down, and I'll save that. Uh, now my choice is it's actually not on the path right now until I either open a new um, Sigwin, or I can actually resource it. So I can do source bash profile and pick up those changes. And so now I can actually do, hope this doesn't kill my video. I can say open idea 64 and it should open my IntelliJ. And there it goes. So pretty cool little feature. So I use a lot, just wanted to kind of share that. So uh, that's how you use SIG start in SIGWIN, which is basically the same thing as using open in uh, Mac OS X.
Mac OS X. So cool. Hope that helps someone out there. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.